Hi and welcome to GRVO TV, G's Reviews, Views and Opinions. I'm doing a, my initial review on a new watch I've got and it's an interesting watch because I'm not really one for copies watches or homages, whatever you want to call them, but I don't mind if it's a watch in its own right and it's got, uh, you know, it looks a little bit like something else. I haven't got a problem with that. I'm not keen on the whole Rolex copies kind of thing. Uh, but this this particular watch did catch my eye, and for only one reason really, um, you know, I'm never going to own a Rolex. I don't think in my life, unless I win the lottery or something like that. It, it's you know highly unlikely that I'll ever own one. And I've not, I don't lust after Rolex or anything like that. But I do quite like the Submariner, and uh, I don't mind that this is a copy because it is a, a company that uh, produce other watches and they just happened to produce a Rolex copy. But the big thing about this was the price. I paid, I, actually I'm not gonna tell you the price at the moment, I'm just gonna crack on. Right, it's Christmas time. Bear with me on this, pretend for a minute that it's Christmas. I know we're in uh, February, but it's Christmas and you've just pulled your crackers and someone's got a plastic piece of crap and someone's got a little puzzle or whatever. I pull my cracker, oh, oh my God, a watch, it's a real watch, it's stainless steel, it's got a display, it's an automatic, it's an automatic winding watch, it's got a sweep second hand, it's got a display back, it looks a bit like a Rolex. It's a Tavis, Tavisi. So, muck, oh, hang on, sorry, I've got to do it. What else have we got in here? A joke. Ah. And, don't you love Christmas? <sighs> oh, that's a crappy hat. You know I'm going to do the rest of the video with the hat on. Just deal with it. Haters are going to hate. There we go. So, definitely Christmas now. Okay, so, joking aside, this watch cost me delivered, and it took 10 days to get here, £19.53p, less than 20 quid. So maybe, you know, if you're doing dollars, about $22. So it is cheap enough to put in a Christmas cracker. And I'm not being funny, no matter how crappy a watch it is, I would be happy with something like that in a Christmas cracker. As I would something like, you know, the, the 10 quid F91W Casio, you know, something like that. I think they'd make great Christmas cracker gifts, just better than, you know, and you're not breaking the bank. I'm not suggesting, you know, if you've got a family of 10, you put one of these in every one, you know, it depends on your budget, but 20 quid for someone who likes watches, I think this is a great option. And this, I, I really wasn't expecting a lot, but it's got some weight to it. It's got solid stainless steel bracelet on it. It's better than my my um, Casio MDV or whatever it is, you know, with, with folded links. This has got solid stainless steel links. You know, it's just fantastic. So anyway, so you don't have to look at my hat anymore. I'm gonna switch the camera around and we'll have a closer look and we'll see what we think. Okay, so there we are in all its glory and I am still wearing the hat, by the way. A Tavis, automatic. I do love the fact that it's got 100 feet of water resistance and then it's like, it says 30 meters and it's a perlative sonometer, officially certified. I think it's great. But um, we'll just go over the features at the moment. Uh, it's uh, keeping good time. It's got obviously the Mercedes hands. We've got some loom on the dial, which is okay. It's better than my Casio, to be fair. It's a stainless steel case. It's um, hand winding, but not hacking. There's no screw down crown. There's no screw down case back. It's just a clip on. So, you know, you do not want to be getting this wet. I would say this is a little light sprinkling of rainproof and that's about it. Although, you know, if you fell in a river or something, you know, a 20 quid watch, you're not going to worry that much whether it works or not. And you might be lucky and have one that's actually okay. 
the case is all shiny. Um, there's no sort of nice brushing or anything like that. It is what it is. Uh, and it's got some rough areas, uh, as you would expect, but got a signed buckle there, Tavis or clasp. It's got a single-sided clasp release, just like that. Nothing special. Again, it works. Okay. Push pins. And as you'll see here, I actually, as I was sizing it, I pushed one straight into my finger and it absolutely buried itself deep in my finger. That was fun. And, um, and there you go. The Cyclops, I actually really like the Cyclops on this and uh, I I have seen reviews where the Cyclops is wonky, mine's straight. I've got no alignment issues on mine at all. And uh, and I really like the Cyclops. When you get to uh, my age and your eyes start to go, you appreciate things like that little Cyclops. I can actually see the date nice and easy on this one, better than any of my other watches, in fact. The bezel is, um, yeah, it's okay. Uh, because it's got so much sort of backlash, you can get it set just right. And it does have this kind of chintzy feel, but it, it, only when you do that. If you're not, when you're actually wearing it, it it's, it's fine, this watch, it's um, no problem at all. It doesn't make any noises or rattling. Uh, or anything like it actually wears really nicely. It's got one micro, um, a two position micro adjustment on the back end of the clasp there. And um, I took about three links out, I think. I did have a problem with the links when I put them back on, it was a bit tight. So I've got the Dremel out, did a little bit of work to make the links um, a little bit smoother on the bracer. And I don't mind doing a little bit of work like that on a watch. I mean, I could probably pop that bezel and have a little play or stuff a bit of goop in there or something to soften that, make that a bit better. Um, you can see there the glass is, the crystal's okay, it's fine. Um, you see the sweep second hand, you know, it's got everything in there. Let's just uh, pop it off and show you the back. So not the, the prettiest of uh, mechanisms in here. Let's just go up the other side so you can see the, there you go, let's get that out, the rotor out of the way. Um, yeah, just see it in there. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, it's the actual rotor itself is quite nicely detailed, but you know, it's three atoms of waterproofness. Yeah, right. Uh, there you go. I mean, it's uh, the crown's got a little Tavis logo on the end there. It winds. You know, it's, it costs less than £20, this watch. And, uh, you know, that's what I keep coming back to. It, and it's not a fake. It is made by Tavis. It is a, you know, it is a bona fide company. They make other watches. They make some actually quite expensive, well, not expensive, but more expensive than this watch is, you know, in the sort of mid-hundreds of pounds. And um, they make a couple of nice dress watches and different things. Uh, so, you, you know, you do have a bit of inherent sort of quality there, control. I mean, it's not great. There's a couple of sharp edges here and there, but as I say, you can always get the Dremel out. It's only steel and, um, you know, sort any problems out. But I say the only issue that I've got is that, that clicky bezel, but I, I could just stuff a little bit of cardboard in there or something and, uh, and solve that if you didn't want to use it too much. But you know, it's fine. It doesn't make any noises when you're wearing it, which is the main thing. And it doesn't feel cheap when it's on. You actually put it on and just leave it alone and look at it. It's just a nice watch. And you know, you have to get over that fact, oh, if someone says, oh, you wear a Rolex or whatever. No, it's a Tavizi or a Tavizi. You know, you can make of it what you want. Um, but I just think, you know, can you imagine getting this in a Christmas cracker? I just think that's fan a fantastic buy. Probably one of the best 20 quids I've ever spent. I mean, time will tell if it keeps going, but I, I can't see any reason why not, to be honest. Uh, it, it started started going as soon as I opened the box. Um, sorry, it didn't come in a box, as soon as I opened the Jiffy bag. And um, it, it's been running fine ever since. So, you know, you can't go wrong for 20 quid. So I know the watch snobs out there will, you know, will moan and bitch about it and all that, but end of the day, I don't care. I just quite like it, it's quite a nice watch. It's quite similar to the uh, Casio that I've just reviewed, the uh, MTD here, which is quite nice. And you've got quartz against 
a, a, a mechanical, an automatic mechanical watch. Yeah. So there you go. So that's my initial review. I'll do a, a long-term one on this of the Tavise Automatic. Uh, I think it's the 801. Yeah, I think this is a, a great little buy. If I can find a link to it on Amazon, I'm not sure if they had any left the place where I got this from, I will put a link in the description, but you can find these on Amazon or eBay or whatever. And um, I would just say, you know, just for a bit of fun or a gift or, you know, uh, a secret Santa gift um, at Christmas time, I think, I know I'm doing this at the wrong time of the year. I just think this is a great little watch. Anyway, this is GRVO TV, G's Reviews, Reviews and Opinions. I'll see you soon.